morning, everybody. It is 20 after 9. I just got off of a marathon conference call. <laughs> it was like an hour and 20 minutes. Oof. And in the midst of that, um, Kristen, my sister-in-law, Kristen, dropped off. Oh, she dropped off some cookies. The Girl Scout cookies we ordered. Um, and I see there's a note from my from my nieces and nephews. Um, don't worry, I will sanitize where I put where I put this down. I've been putting things down on this side and then I sanitize it. Um, in case you're curious. So there, there are four boxes of Fresco cookies. And here's my cute little note from Maggie and Jack and Rosie. Maggie is the Girl Scout though. Aww. So, let's just see what we ordered. Let me open this up. All right. The shortbreads, the thanks a lot, which is the, like, I think it's like a gram, then with chocolate on the bottom, peanut butter sandwich, and Thin Mints. <laughs> so you can't have enough Thin Mints. All right, so I'm going to wipe those off with some um, sanitizer, wash my hands. I'm going to now also sanitize the camera. Never-ending sanitizing. I'm going to stick this in my office. Um, yeah. So that's what's going on so far today. Oh, like I said, it's just been it's just been kind of a whirlwind. I started at 7, as you guys know. So i to stick this here. Have I ever shown this to you guys? I don't know. Um, Nicole, one of my longtime subscribers, she sent this to me in the mail. It got, must have gotten lost for a while because it, it did eventually show up. But yesterday's eyeliner can be today's smoky eye if you just believe in yourself. Isn't that funny? So I have that sitting up there because it cracks me up. Anyway, right, I'm going to sanitize this. So I'll wipe down the counter and then uh, make myself some breakfast of some sort. I'm starving. Um, and Okay, I'm not starving. I'm hungry. Um, yeah. Get back at it. All right, you guys. Here's what's happening. Um, it's 20 to 12. I'm real hungry because I never did get to eat before. I'm real sick of answering my phone. <laughs> so I'm going to make some um, lunch for myself here. I am buying out some pork and hamburger here for my lasagna. But I wanted to show you guys these. Steven dropped off his pan. And so I had, I gave him a couple of these, which he said were very delightful. This is what I made for Bob yesterday. I cannot remember if I showed you or not. I'm very sorry. These are homemade payday bars. So I'll try to find the, it's on my Pinterest. So check out my Pinterest if you want to. Um, but it's just peanuts on the bottom. And then the middle is marshmallows, butter, peanut butter chips. And sweetened condensed milk, but they didn't. Really, they're not super firm. They're and they're very like pulley and chewy. They're very good. Stephen said it was very good, and Bob liked his last night as well. This is a little corner that I had yesterday, and I thought it was okay. Um, but this is more Bob's thing than it is mine. And the sweet salty is very very good. I love a sweet salty. So, but they they never really firmed up. I put them in the fridge, and they didn't really firm up there either. They're just kind of really pulley and chewy. I'm gonna pull one apart so you can see, but I, I need both hands to do that. So hang on. I just want you to see what the consistency is. You see what I'm saying? They're very like pulley like that. I don't know. Listen, I don't know the right words to say. But so then you put half the peanuts on the bottom, then you pour the sauce over the top. Well, there's vanilla in it too. And then the other half of the peanuts on top. And apparently it's gonna be lunch. Kidding. I'm actually gonna make one, make lunch. Um, so they're good. I'm trying to get a bite with more peanuts. And it is very much a sweet, salty, sort of situation. Bob loves a payday and my dad loves a payday. So I basically made them for Bob and for my dad. So I'm going to send some with my dad. So I'm taking a lunch now, finally. Like I said, um, <laughs> it's just been a day. 
I'm going to heat up the rest of the soup that my dad made for me. I was going to have a salad, but I, I just saw this in here when I was talking to you guys. And that needs to be finished up. I'll save the last salad of the stuff that I have for tomorrow. And then I think I'm going to make those cookies that I want to take over to Jan Lee later. That's what, that's what I'm going to try to get accomplished here. I'm not going to take full lunch. Who am I kidding? I got too much to do. Good morning, everybody. It is me overcompensating. I'm not quite that cheery. Um, <laughs> it is Friday morning. I am happy it's Friday morning. I kind of wish I could have taken vacation today, which seems ridiculous because, A, as somebody pointed out to me in my live this morning, there are people that without jobs that would love to be working. Um, it's so fun. It's just this whole circle of what, you know, I feel guilty about wanting to take vacation, but I'm also like mentally exhausted. And I don't know how to explain that. But anyway, I'm the only, you guys, this morning, this, my shirt is sitting here. This morning, um, during my live, I, I had my foundation pointed the wrong way and I squirted it onto myself instead of onto my hand. <laughs> what are you gonna do? So, anyway, I came out, it's, it's 8.15. I just came out, I need to, I had a postage due thing I need to do. Um, Bob and I got our, these are our absentee ballots. Those came yesterday, and uh, anyway, so I, I came out to make myself some waffles. I've decided it's now my Friday treat. Um, and today on my lunch, I need to go grocery shopping for my parents. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I would kind of like to take, I'm gonna see how the morning goes and I may take the afternoon off um, so that I can, I'm hopeful to be able to get into the stores when it's not quite so busy. I mean, they haven't done anything about limiting people in our stores yet as far as, um, you know, how, how many and that sort of thing. So I'd like to try to get there when there's not a bajillion people there. So I take my lunch at 11. To pause to go get a fork. I take my lunch at 11 and so I... Or, you know, if I were to take half a day, I'd be done at 11. So I kind of feel like I'd like to do that. It seems ridiculous, I know. Oh, I need to pull this off from my parents. Uh, so and, and anyway, <laughs> all of that ramble to say I'm mentally exhausted. <coughs> and I feel like I could just use a little downtime. But again, like I said, on the, on the flip side of that, it seems ridiculous. I work from home. But it's still work. I don't know. It's just been, it's just been tricky. So, um, we gotta, I put these in and then, um, I gotta, I put these in, like my toaster has numbers on it. So I put them in at seven, which is the highest, <coughs> excuse me. And then I pop them up and I put them in for another three, whatever that, it's not even minutes. It's just like the number. So. I, um, I haven't decided what's happening this afternoon. I need to see how much I can get cleaned up this morning before then. We do have a call every Friday. Um, yeah, see, I can't take vacation. I gotta be on that call. How am I ever gonna take vacation on a Friday? We have a call every Friday too. Uh, well, anyway. So, <laughs> welcome to the crazy mind of Kristen Gay. All right, I'm gonna go uh, have my waffles here. And I will check in with you later and let you know what I've decided about my afternoon. Um, I just feel like I have things. I don't want to be in the stores on the weekends. That's really what it boils down to. So if I can, even if I just work and if it takes me an extra hour, so I end up taking like a two hour lunch or something, I will just make sure that I make it up. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is 620. And believe it or not, we slept in. Well, I didn't. I slept in. I woke up at 530 per usual. This one slept till 5.30, which is like a two-hour sleep-in for you. Yep. Well, you stayed. It is. Stayed but I was up and off and on. And yeah, me too. I just, you know, I just am not, I mean, who, no, I, I don't think very many people are sleeping well these days. No. It just is what it is. Yep. So, um, let's see, what do we have to do today? Yeah, not much. <laughs> but Bob's off today, so we're thankful for that. And he's off tomorrow as well. Um... So we talked about maybe he'd go to the Amish place to get the propane tanks filled up. Because you can keep a safe six-foot distance there. 
and we can't grill out really until he does that. And um, yeah. Well, it could have used charcoal. Oh, that's true. I forget if we have that option now. Yeah. Um, but during the week, it's nice to be able to put any gas on. Right. It's much quicker for sure. For sure. So yeah, um, we have obviously church service on Wednesday or on Sunday over the watch, and then we're coming into Holy Week, which is just weird. It's Palm Sunday tomorrow. It's just weird. <clears throat> I'm all cup. Look what I was doing. I know. You gotta wash my shirt. I know. I just said to him, I'm like, that shirt needs to be washed. Yeah, I'll put it in your wash tonight, he says, when I'm done with it. You're lucky you're cute, game. You gotta wash Betty this week, too, right? This is Betty week. Jesus. Well, technically, yes. Yes. However, definitely. however, the new sheets that I ordered to go with the spring bedding. Yeah. Because remember, we didn't like the ones last year. Um, and just for those of you that maybe didn't catch it, I did order some on Amazon. Wrong color. I sent them back. So I found some on Target that are a nice high thread count. I think they're 800 thread count. And Egyptian cotton, so which is the kind that we have right now that he likes. And they're supposed to be in this. It said by Sunday. I I'm certain they're not delivering something on Sunday, so right. I'll either, when the sheets get here, I will then see if the color is acceptable. Oh, I see. And if it I'll is, I will, I will wash then and put it on and wash the other ones, put them away, right, yeah, exactly. I get it. And if the color is not acceptable, then at that point in time, I will wash the sheets. I, I'm just making sure I not, not make the better. Right. Better. We don't want you to have to make the bed any more than the one time you have to a week. Right. Right. <laughs> Oh boy. So yeah, we uh, we don't have a ton to do. I have some Netflix show options I think Bob might like. We talked about Tiger King. But then a lot of people in my life said maybe we wouldn't like that. I, I, I listen to the podcast so I know the story, but I don't know. So that's an option. And I thought maybe I tried to watch Ozark back when it first came on. It, it's got three seasons now. Um, and it has Jason Bateman in it. It's kind of a dark... Um, like suspenseful, intense sort of a thing. And he might like that. He usually likes that kind of stuff. It's 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 like a dark 24, somebody told me. I don't know that it's quite like that. But anyway, so that's an option of something that we could watch. But um, neither one of us is one to sit in our chair and watch like hours and hours and hours of TV. No. No, right. So I don't know what's going to happen today, but and I thought I would pull out the camera and start the day anyway. Technology is helping churches stay connected. Yep, sure is. Yep. So I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to sit down and catch up on comments. I'm a little bit behind on comments. Oh, yeah. And uh, I've obviously showered. Today. today was a banner day in the shower. I uh, showered and sh I washed my hair and shaved. I mean... Big exciting times here in quarantine. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's been my day so far. I got up at five thirty, showered. It was a longer shower than I appreciate. I, I like to be real quick in and out of the shower, five minutes tops. But I had to wash my hair, shave my legs. Today was an exfoliate. You know, it, it's a whole thing. Actually, yesterday was, and I forgot. So I I tend to exfoliate both face and body on. Sundays and Thursdays. Yeah. It just works for me to have a schedule like that. Yeah. When do you exfoliate? I don't. Right. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will catch up with you later. All right, you guys. Or, this is 32 foot from the hitch to the back. I think it is from the hitch to the back. It's the living. camper is 30 and the hitch is 2 or whatever. Okay, so we're talking about campers. It's 930 and we have gotten up from our chairs. We got sucked into this. It's on... The show or the channel is Great American Country. I've never watched this before, but it's called Going RV, right? Go, That's yeah, Go RV. Go RV or something like that. But what's fun about it is that we're seeing all different kind of RV setups and things. Each show is a family or a couple or whatever looking for an RV, and they show three different types and the prices and stuff. So that it's been interesting. And the show we just watched, or the episode we just watched, they picked our camper that we have. So we feel like we're all that in a bag of chips. Right. Yep. So this is what's happening. We are taking down all the greens because, well, they're really only supposed to be up there for the winter, and they've been up there a really long time. 
So we're taking them all down, washing all the wattware. I'm wiping down up there, and then we're putting, putting them back up. That's our big chore for the day. Right. Right. That's all, that's all we got for you. But anyway, I just thought I would tell you guys about that show because we're enjoying it. All right, you guys. So uh, we've accomplished a chore. Right. Right. We took all those down. I washed them all. We shook out the evergreens and put those away. It looks so almost empty up there. Look at that's a speaker that neither one of us can reach. <coughs> it's fine. Um, we don't think it's hooked up to anything either. It just looks so empty up there. So I'll probably, when life returns to normal, get some greens, kind of that look like the philodendron sort of greens, only a little bit darker, and stick them up there. Oh, I probably should have done those too. Oh well. That's a project for another day, huh? I was looking at this right here. It's fine. So, um, yeah. That's our big morning project. We may or may not go to Lark, um, which is the Amish place where we get our propane fill for our grills and camper and stuff. I mean, I just the excitement never ends. I mean, try to keep up. Got a smirk for Mr. Game. All right. It's 11.30. Um, RV show is still on the TV. Bob's trading off reading his paper and snoozing. Well-deserved snoozing. And uh, I am, I'm going to start with one hand, working on lasagna. So I'm making a double batch. Make a 9 by 13 for us to have throughout the week here. And I'm also making a square pan for Steven. And then I'm going to do another square pan for us and put it in the freezer. So I think that'll it'll be it'll be enough. I think. I mean, two square pans do not necessarily equal a nine by thirteen, but close enough. I'll make it work. So I'm just doing the meat. I do half pork. Um, not always. I should say that. Only when I do a double batch, actually. I'll do half pork and I use a pound of each, pork and hamburger. And uh, well, I'm gonna set you guys up here. I don't think you've ever been in this cupboard before. I need to get out the lasagna noodles. Um, which I think I stuck in half, I did. Uh, anyway, so I do half and half and then I just put some spices in there. Oh, oh yes I did. Did you see my that was me panicking over the fact that I thought I didn't have enough noodles. But I do. Sorry, I kind of have you at a funny angle in there. I'll just leave this out, actually. So, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to, then I'll clean down the stove. That's why I decided to do this now. So, I don't think I said this. The appraiser's coming on Monday for the, I told you guys, we're refinancing to go down a couple years. Um, well, we, we had 17 left of our 20 year, and we're going to go to a 15 year. So, I'm going to pan out for water for that. So, the price is coming on Monday, so I want to just you know, make sure everything is extra clean. So, I'm going to. All right, sorry, I had to have a pause while I thought. So, I'm going to clean the bathrooms today, too. I'm going to do our bathroom and do all the woodwork and everything. It's just a good time to get that stuff done anyway. There's not much else going on. And while I'm doing this lasagna, or at some point here, I think I'm going to try that. Um, I think I should get brown butter vanilla bean cake or something. And then give half of that to us in the Malfi at some point this weekend. So that's what's going on. Super exciting stuff. Alrighty, it's 2 o'clock and I have. A square lasagna in the freezer, a square lasagna in the fridge for Steven, and a normal 9x13 in the fridge for us for this week. One day this week on a really good day. And um, cleaned everything up, scrubbed down the stove because we have that assessment. I can't remember if I said, I know I said that, or the appraiser. So I want to make sure that looked nice. So I cleaned that all down, and now I'm working on this. I've been meaning to make this for a while. I talked about it earlier. So vanilla bean with brown butter icing. It's from Bake or Break. She has an Instagram. So I'm just gonna work on that. It's just a little one layer cake. I like the idea of that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Good morning, everybody. 
So, um, I was going to find something to stack him up here and put him on so that I don't have to hold the camera. Um, it's Sunday morning. It is 10 to 9. We just finished our worship service. And um, I think one more thing on here will work. I do this all the time. I'm just building him a little tripod here out of the cupboard. Anyway, um, we were up. We slept in until 6.30, which is good for us. Well, Let's, we stayed in bed until 6.30. Well, right. But still, that's good for us. Um, and then we got up and we did a bunch of house cleaning. He vacuumed dusted. I cleaned all the bathrooms. Um, we we're right because of the, because the appraiser's coming. We wanted to get that all done today. Um, and then uh, he showered. I haven't done that yet. And then we sat down and watched church service. So um, he, one of you guys asked um, Bob to give some banter about being in a leadership position. And he can kind of speak to being in a leadership position at church as well as at work. Um, like during this time. So I'm going to put the camera down here and let him talk to you. I'm going to go turn the TV off maybe oh, so it's yes, not quite that's so. probably a good idea. Hello, everyone. Um, so one of Kristen's subscribers asked a question is how I'm dealing with this COVID-19 uh, virus being in a leadership position. And as many of you well aware, if you are in a leadership position, Part of the toughest job of a, being a leader is you, you need to make decisions that not everyone's going to be happy with. And, uh, but that's life. life. Life happens, and that's just the way it is. Um, so going forward, first of all, I'd like to tell everyone, if you know someone that has contacted this virus, or a loved one, or a friend, or whatever, Kristen and I are in your, you know, we're, we have you in our prayers. And if you have any query prep, prayer request, go ahead and send them to us and we will pray for you. And I'd also like to take the opportunity at this time, most of us are not worshiping in our sanctuaries at this time, but most of our pastors, if you have a home church, they probably are streaming something on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, so I encourage you to take part in this worship service uh, and take the time to talk to God. Now is the time to pray. And it can be simple. You know, I'll, I'll give you an example. There are days when things aren't going very well and I get frustrated and I, all of a sudden I'll take a step back and I'll just look up to the sky and I'll say, what did I do wrong? And that's all I say. And then I progress and move on. Um, so being that, please take the time to pray. Talk to God. If you have a home church, see if they offer a, a website service. And if I'll not, link, maybe, maybe Kristen can... Um, I linked it last week. Okay, Kristen already linked. Listen to our pastor. He's doing an outstanding job right now. And, and to that end, you guys, if you have a pastor that's doing things from home or from church by himself or whatever, send them a note of encouragement yes. and say thanks for doing this because it's not part of their normal thing. And, nope. you know... Pastor Lou, at least for us, is just doing a really good job. He, I mean, he was here for what a couple of weeks before this all hit. Oh, about a month. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway. Um. So as far as from a work standpoint, a um, couple of things that I have an advantage. I mean, obviously we're here in Shawano, so the population isn't that you know big. Um, the other thing that's, that's an advantage to me is is the, the for the folks that report to me. I've got a good veteran group of people, and uh, over the years, uh, we've built a trust with each other. So we trust each other. Um, but what we've done at work is, you know, we finished the month of March strong, and starting in April, we kind of backed off the gas a little bit and slowed things down. What we're trying to do is limit exposure, because uh, we're anticipating a slowdown, because with the virus, no one's out buying anything. So we're anticipating, we're being proactive instead of reactive. We're going to slow down, keep our employees working at least 40 hours a week rather than pay, you know, overtime now. And then a month from now, we have to shut down completely because we have no orders. So we're just keeping a steady work pace. Um, from our people in the office, what they're doing is, is they're working in the office four hours and then at home for four hours. And they do it on a rotational basis. So half of them are there. In the morning, the other half, go, and then they go home, and then the other half come in in the afternoon, and so limited exposure. Um, 
We have two locker rooms, obviously, out on, in the plant itself, one for men, one for women. And we've done for a long time, we've already, we've always, always staggered the start and stop times of our each department so we're not overcrowding the locker room. So, um, I mean, at times it still does, but we, you know, we're careful. Uh, as far as the guys that are working out on the floor, you know, our guys that do our grinding and our finishing, um, you know, we have PPE to wear, just like you're seeing on television with the, with the uh, healthcare workers, they have PPE. Our finishers, you know, they're wearing aprons and gloves. Um, what they also have is they have a full hood helmet made by 3M that they wear. You know, and it obviously has a face shield that they can flip up and down. Uh, you have to see what you're doing. But the advantage to the, to the hood is, is that we have fresh air pumped into these hoods. We have a separate air compressor for this uh, system. It's filtered air and they're plugged in, so it's, it acts like a, a portable respirator. And if you think about that, these guys are probably safer at work with that respirator, you know, that hood on than they are probably at home. Um, and for the rest of our guys that work for in the blast area, you know, we have face shields that snap onto our hard hats so they can keep those down. We have, we had a stock up on a three month supply of the 3M N95 mask. So, and, and we're not required, some areas are required to wear them, uh, depending on, on uh, the dust collection in that area. Um, but we're not required to wear them, but most, most guys are choosing to wear them at work. Um, you know, it's, when you're hanging castings on a blast machine that weigh 2,000 pounds, we can't be six feet apart. It's impossible. That's where that trust factor comes in. We trust each other. We know, you know, I mean, we can anticipate what's going to happen. And again, having the veteran crew that I have has made my job as a leader um, uh, a lot a lot more efficient, a lot easier. So I hope I answered your question. Um, and if you, you have any other things that we, you'd like to talk, send it to Kristen. Um, I'll take a few minutes out of my time and, uh, you know, I'm looking at I'm, I'm looking at positive this is a tough time and uh, it saddens me that uh, you know especially in church um, we can't gather especially during Holy Week um, this is a tough time for all of us but we're gonna make the most of it and we need to look at the positive side we will get through this and we are gonna have a Good Friday service um, yes. so if you guys you can subscribe to the YouTube channel that I linked below for if you want to if you want to I'm, I'm just saying you're welcome to um, and then he'll be doing a Good Friday service as well as a Easter, Easter Sunday, Sunday so. so all right well thanks for sharing hey, I want to show hope, you guys I hope I answered the question I'm sure you did I wanted this by the way is what I made the tower off of mayo stovetop stuffing and oyster crackers I'm going to want to show you, Wilson brought this to me yesterday. She is making Bob a mask as well, which he's going to wear, right? When I go out. Right. He doesn't really have to. He goes to work and back. But <clears throat> So she made me this. Um, a, she made it in plaid. Like, tell me my best friend doesn't know me. She made it in plaid, and it's green and gold. Like, what more could I ask for? So um, I'm going to clean up myself here a little bit. And, excuse me, I'm going to have the rest of this coffee. And, um, oh, the cake, by the way, the vanilla bean, Bob can't speak to it because he has, he was I'm too full last night. I'm going to be trying to get in a few minutes here. Oh, um, we got to add water. Here's the thing. It, I would change the recipe next time. The, uh, the frosting, icing, whatever, is really good. But, by the way, I traded, I'll show you. I'll, show, I'll see, actually, I took a picture of it before I cut into it. Um, I sent some with Wilson and Maltby too. But anyway, so Wilson's report back is that it was too dry. And I agree. It's more like your typical, what I think of as a, like an English dessert. They tend to be a little bit drier because they're meant to be had with um, like tea or coffee or whatever. So yeah. it's a little bit dry. Yeah. So next time I would change it. The frosting, though, like I said, amazing. I would change it and do... Um, I would reduce the flour a little bit, and I would um, increase um, with another egg. It was interesting how dry it was. I would also decrease the bake time. Um, I always go on the low end of what they say. I would go, I think it said 30 to 35 minutes. I did it for 30. Next time I'd start at 20, and I'd work my way up. So I think there's a couple of things that I would change before I did it next time. But anyway, um, overall, the flavor is good. It just was a touch dry. So um, yeah, there you go. That's what I have for you. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna clean myself up and then I'm gonna go to Quick Trip. 
My parents were doing this once a week outing. I talked about this in a live. They were doing this once a week outing into Quick Trip, which is a convenience store. And they get, they, they have milk in a bag there. I'll try to remember to show you so if you've never seen that. It's a little odd, but it's fine. Anyway, mom did like that because they can get two at a time and they feel like it stays fresher versus buying it. At any rate. And so they were getting that and then they were getting like their paper, you know, the paper for the week or whatever. And, you know, I talked about it in the live and then the more I thought about it after I dropped the groceries off on Friday, I texted my mom. I was like, you know, you, you just, you can't be doing that anymore. <laughs> There's now a confirmed case in Shawano County. Um, I said, you, especially, I said, I think there would be more germs of a gas station because people are like traveling through town and stuff that I don't know. Anyway, I just pretty much banned them from that. So today I need to go to Quick Trip and get them their juice and milk bananas and um, their papers and bring them to them. So I will wear my mask and Bob and I will go do that and maybe go for a drive. I'm not sure. He talked about that. So we actually should get some gas while we're there. So I don't know. We'll see what today brings if I vlog anymore. If not, thanks for watching. <laughs> but, you know, I'll bring the camera. Maybe we'll vlog. We'll see. Mm -hmm.